Hello, folks. Trying to get ready to go on a little catfishing adventure this morning. And it's been a while since I've been fishing. I'm having problems finding all my tools that I kept around with me. For instance, my strap to hold my life jackets down to keep them from blowing out of the boat has disappeared. Grand young'uns. You want to know why I'm suspicious that it might be grand young'uns? Look at here. This makes six I've got out of the boat. And I know I didn't leave them in there. <laughs> I like to name my stuff. This here is old Putt Putt. Ready to go. My buddy Ken will be here in a few minutes. We're gonna go get after some of them channel cats. Well, folks, it's Bill with Bill Reddick Outdoors. I got my good buddy Kent. We just put the boat in the river there by the house. We fit and go catch us some catfish. And I got this old long tail motor a few years ago. I'm gonna show you a little tip that I found out. If you take your rope, tie it to the bottom of your boat, and my grand youngins have done untied it, and hook it to that handle, it will hold your prop up out of the water while you crank your motor. How about that for a tip? That's pretty right. good. We're gonna see if old Putt Putt will fire up and take us up this river. That ain't looking good. Might help if I choke it. Fish on, that's what I'm talking about. Is he foul hook? I can't tell. He's twisting. No. Oh, just flip him in the boat. He's that big. But he's big enough to bite. He's yep. big enough to be bit. Well, folks, it's kind of a little slow this morning. Uh, it's overcast. Wind blowing a little bit. And I had a good friend that was really wanting some fillets. And I thought I was going to fix her up. But we're working pretty hard just to catch fish every now and then. Maybe it'll change in a few minutes. Y'all look at him. I got one of the best trolling motors they are. Got the Kenster up there. I don't know, it gives out pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> Your battery getting low? Yeah. <laughs> I felt him bump a limb and it come off. We just ain't having much luck. The ones that do bite, come off. We got a fish on. Fish on! Good fish. There he is. Up and in. Woohoo! Yes, sir. Well, Kent, this is how you do it. I need to take some pointers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slacking today. That's the way it goes. I remember one time. Me and my old buddy Mitch was fishing at the coast and I had caught like seven or eight redfish and he hadn't caught a fish and he was grumbling about it. And then about that time he caught a fish and he caught seven or eight or ten and I ain't caught another fish. It just <laughs> goes back and forth, you know. Well, that's fishing. He's a little on the small side, but a day like today we're gonna keep him. Well, I don't think that's a catfish, bro. Kenster's hooked up. What I got? Oh, yeah. Good fish. There he is. <laughs> Very nice. Let's do it. 
Fish on. A little bow in the rod. There we go. <laughs> there we are. Things are beginning to turn around just a little bit. Oh, yeah. You never know what you might see when you're out playing in the outdoors. <laughs> One more for the box. Well, Lord did bless us today with a few little old catfish. Folks, this is my good buddy Kent. We had a good time today catching a few little old catfish. Always remember, whether you're at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick Outdoors. See y'all.